for clicking on my channel, Joy's Way. I'm Joy. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning supporter of mine, welcome back, awesome person. So today we're going to talk about my, oh, what did I call it again? Joy's Way of panning and stashing. So from January 29th to February 28th, I used all this makeup, remember? quick reminder, I used the Weekend um, Vibes Belling um, Six Color Blush Palette from um, BH Cosmetics. And I used that. See, look, I kept track of everything. So I used um, this a total of 23 times. And I love it. But I've always um, really enjoyed this blush palette. I just don't really use it that much. Well, the last month I've used it a lot, actually. But that was the whole plan, right? So I also had this right here. This is the Shades by Shan, um, San Francisco CA, the NYY Makeup Studios palette. And a reminder of what that looked like. And I used this. Let's see. Use this a total of seven times, and it's an okay palette. Um, I don't know. I don't like. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it or not. Like for instance, this Pinky Rose Cosmetics Sunflower Palette. Um, I realized I don't like this palette. I like the couple of shimmer shades, like these shades right down here, but the. Uh, the matte formula, I did not like the matte formula. When I wore it, it was patchy. I took a um, long time to blend it out. And so I only end up using this palette five times. And the ones, like I decided I don't like this palette and there's not enough colors in it. So I'm going to declutter it, but I'm not just going to throw it away. I'm going to put it off into the side. And then at some point, I think I'm going to take all my used makeup downstate to my family and see if any of them want it because... It is used makeup. Uh, that one is going to go out of my collection. So let's see. Let me mark these off. So I did that one and that one. The next thing in here was the Wet n Wild um, Mangola Highlighting Palette. And this palette, I love this palette. I mean, I have the highlight on today if you can see it. Um, this is a great, great drugstore brand. So I'm going to be keeping this. And I use this palette. 23 times. So 23 times is the like main number out of the like, what was it? 30 days. So that's not bad. There were days that I didn't wear makeup and, um, cause my face, you know, sometimes your face just needs a break. The last palette I have in here is the, um, Tarte High Performance, um, Naturals Tardius Pro Remix. And this palette I tended to use the most. I do actually really enjoy this palette, which is super funny because I was I was thinking, like, I used this palette a couple of times, like, way back in the beginning of my um, channel, and I don't think I liked it when I first got it, and now after having to use it, um, I didn't have to, but I ended up using this palette 11 times. So what I did is I, like, kept track of, like, how many times I used it, and then I totaled out how many times I actually wore together. So I ended up um, using this palette 11 times, keeping this palette, and a total of all three of my eyeshadow palettes I used um, 23 times. And so now that I like this, now I want to try more Tarte products. All right, getting on to, oh yeah, I want to mark this stuff off. Getting, going over to my bronzer by Kylie and um, shade Khaki. As a reminder, I used this one a total of 20 times. And I think that I've determined that um, this is okay, actually. It's not too bad. Um, I do have to build it up, but it is buildable. So at the moment, I know I'm going to keep this. All right, so then we have my e.l.f. Um, eyebrow kit, and I used that a total of 20 times. 
um, and I just use this color right here. So I'm going to be keeping that. All right, let's do my foundations. I had the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills and the Lori Geller um, New York foundations. And I didn't do really good with these. Um, I only wore them seven times total. I wore this four times and I wore this three times. But even though I didn't wear it that many, realistically, I wore more foundation um, during the last month than I did previously because I'd hardly ever grab foundation. So I mainly wore these on like my days off or like sometimes now that I'm working at McDonald's, I'll get out, I'll go out at like four in the morning and get out at like 11 in the morning. So I have the rest of the day and I'll just come home and play with makeup. Um, but I'm going to keep these um, and keep using them. As a matter of fact, because this video, I'm also going to show you the um, makeup that I'm going to be using for next month. So I'm just going to put these over into that because I just want to try to focus on using just a couple of foundations right now and try to get them whittled down before I move on to um, another, you know, brand. All right. Then we're going to talk about these um, lip glosses. And I use the each one of these three times. That's it. Three times. I only used a total of three times. I did not like these lip glosses. In the video where I showed you it, it was just really tacky. And I tried wearing it at night, but at night it just like slithered down my face and it didn't stay put like a normal lip mask does. So these I'm going to be tossing. Well, I'm going to put over because like I have granddaughters that might want to use them for play makeup. And so I'm going to put that in another pile, but I am not using nasty lip glosses. I'm going to um, possibly just throw out all my lip glosses because I just really, really don't like them. So I chose these two lip liners and I, they are by um, Beauty Vault 1. This one is like a browner one and it is in the shade um, Cozy Cara. And this one is like a more mauve brown and it is in the shade Natty Nut. I only use these two times. I only use them two times. I'm thinking I'm probably going to toss out my lip liners too because I just don't really like them. Like I have on my, where did I put it? Oh, great. Oh, I do have, damn it. I'm going to have to pause this because I have some lipsticks in my coat pocket. All right. So before we get into my lipsticks, after I found them all, I want to do my um, concealers. So I chose my Tarte C um, Hydro Concealer and my Juvia's Place 20 Concealer. And what I have determined is this one's too dark for me and this one's too light for me. So I'm only use these um, two times each, a total of four times. But I'm going to roll these over into my next month and I'm going to mix them together and see if I can combine a color that will work with me. All right, now to get into all of my lipsticks. So let's go by how I wrote it down. Let's see where we at. So here is my half caked lipstick that I chose and I wore this a total of three times. And I'm probably keeping all my lipsticks. Um, the next one was the LA uh, Colors, and this lipstick I used twice only because, like, this is an orange red, and I like it, but I didn't like the eyeshadow palettes. That makes sense to go with the lipstick. Like, I don't know why I'm wearing it that way, but I did use it two times, and I forgot. This dries down, like, dries down, dries down. This is a really good drugstore brand, and they still make these type. I was just in Dollar General, and, um, was it Dollar, was it uh, Family Dollar? Anyways, and I, one of them had these brands still. Okay, the next one is my e.l.f. Duo, which is what I'm wearing today, and I used that a total of four times, but what I was saying a minute ago is, like, look, it looks like I have lip liner on and I don't, I just have this on. And normally the, um, elf duo dries down, but I did put on a lip oil before I put that on because my lips were starting to get a little dry. And, um, to moving on, here is my color pop Kate. And I end up grabbing this one the most. I use this a total of six times. Um, the next one is my Barbie duo 
and I used this a total of three times and it does come with a um, lip liner. So I did use the lip liner because it like comes in a cool little pack. So it reminds me to use it, but I didn't keep, I didn't add that lip liner, but I would use it three times. The next one I have is this color story and it's a beautiful color, but it is very, um, like it just shifts all over your mouth. So I only use this one twice. And even though it wasn't my favorite and I should get rid of it, but I'm not going to because I'm just not like, and so like I got a new phone. I actually have a um, Moto G5 because my other phone, well, it's over there, but it just, you know, wasn't doing the job and I really don't know where to look. So if like, I don't know until I record the, or until I record this, until I edit this, like, I'm not sure exactly. Like if I look like I'm looking everywhere because I haven't figured out exactly where I need to look at, because like, if I look at my camera, it's like, I'm looking over there and I feel like, I don't know, we'll figure it out. But anyways, the next lipstick was my NYX powder puff. This is one I've had one of the longest and I did use this two times. I do like it. It's just that this is a more of a purple mauve color and I just didn't have the right eyeshadow colors to go with this particular lipstick. And then the last one here I have is the, um, color pop shook. And I only wore this one time and I really didn't care for it at all. I didn't like the way that it felt. I didn't like, um, it didn't last long. It doesn't, it was more of like a, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Like a lip balm. I felt like it was like more of like a lip balm than what a lipstick should have been. But I ended up using all my lipsticks a total of 23 times. So that's what was for February or no, well, from like January 29th to February 28th. And we're going to go into what I'm going to use for the next month. I'm just going to make sure that I have everything. Alrighty, so now I'm going to show you all the makeup that I'm going to use from, from February 28th to March 31st. I added some more palettes. I took out a few things, but we'll get into all of that as I show you. So let's go ahead and let me show you. Let me grab them out of here first. Um, okay. So I actually have seven palettes this time around. I was so bored with three palettes, so bored with three palettes. And so I just went through, was going through all my palettes and palettes that I was like, oh, I would like to wear this one more. I haven't worn enough in a long time. So I have my Viseart um, Professional Makeup Paris. And this is like, these are the colors, but here are those colors going to just play around. I'm probably not gonna, you know, I don't know, we'll figure it out. But I have the um, Too Faced Assaulted Caramel Palette and I ch mainly chose this one just to see if I like Too Faced because I don't really, like I've tried this palette like one time, one or two times. I just really didn't like it and so I'm going to slowly declutter so that way I can add two because I want to buy some other stuff but I also want to get rid of, sh of stuff too. So, um, I'm going to see if I like it. Then I have this half caked your eyes only palette and I have those colors mainly because the rest of the palettes are pretty like, um, Oh, what do you call it? They're like colorful, but I don't know. I can't think of it. So here, just let me, because I'm at a loss of words. I have the BH cosmetics los angeles sunset palette and um these are the colors and i think that's going to be super pretty I'm using this and if i remember correctly i really liked this palette but it has been so long since i've used it i'm like what is it nice at all like so we'll find out all right and then the last three palettes are from ColourPop, and this is part of their um I can't remember what it's called, but anyways, it comes, it comes like this. Let me get these out. Never think about getting them out. So I have the Aura and Out palette. And 
those are those colors and i use that one a lot i actually had to press it back down because i used um like i don't remember if i used a brush or my finger but i just like went in too too heavy and then or too heavy too hard i swear sometimes words are so hard but i have the na um what is that called and and a tange i don't know we know i'm not good with words and these colors are so pretty oh pastel these like the rest of the palettes that i picked are more pastels i knew it would come to me eventually eventually the last palette is miss bliss and i actually i like all of these colors i just never use them because i'm like i like bright colors as you can see i have on my bright green that i actually got out of my um tardiest pro palette um but anyways i'm like i like bright colors so i was like i need to start playing with more colors that i normally wouldn't play with but that's why i picked these palettes right here because they've got like some browns and some darker colors where the other three or the other four palettes have more of the pastel colors all right let's move on to my highlights i picked three highlights this time because i was so bored even though i love the wet and wild highlight palette and i did have four options i was so bored with those options so this time around i gave myself more options um i have my kinder beauty and there's a couple of shades in here that are just gonna be too dark for me so i'm going to use these top ones up here and then i'm going to use this elf um and it is in the shade white gold so i'll use that and sorry i'm not doing any swatches but this video is already going to be long enough and if you want to see swatches i just uploaded a whole bunch of videos of what i own series and the majority of those videos except for like the lip glosses the oils and like the foundations and concealers and the eyeshadows have all swatches in it and then i chose my ofra highlighter um by um Tally Mar in the Soho shade. Ooh, did you see that? Sun just came out outside. It was bright, or not bright, it was dull out. And then I picked two blush palettes. Um, now I'm not sure how my video is going to look, but I'm just going to go with it. I'm going with it. So I have my, my Mally Sunkiss blush, and I actually really like this palette. I just haven't used it in a long time. And here are the palettes, and I normally use these colors around here, so I'm going to try to use more of a variety, but no guarantees. And then I have this um, Blink Ultra Longwear and Effortless um, base palette. This technically has powder, or of course it has powders. Um, this technically has blush and highlights, but I'm only going to be using the top blushes up here, and I'm most likely um, going to be using these three colors right here this one is just way too dark for me way too dark and it's um not a color that i could use to like try to use it as like a bronzer or something like that and i chose my vizia art bronze and that's what the packaging looks like and then here is that color and i've used this quite a bit actually um i do like it i do have to build it up but it is what it is all right, so we're keeping the Anastasia, the Anastasia foundation and the LA, not, it's not even LA, I'm lying again, the Lori Geller New York foundation in. I'm going to try to get some more uses out of it, and then maybe next time around, we'll switch it up. I'm also keeping in the GVS Place and the Tarte C concealers, and then this time, I've only got six lipsticks. I have this Give Them Lala Beauty, and this is a brown. So um, I have that one, and then I think, no, where's my other brown? I think this one right here. Um, this is like a um, brownie pink, but this is in Half Caked and is in the shade theme song. And then I have for a, um, I don't know. Anyways, this is like a lighter pink color, and this is in Romantic Beauty in the shade Strawberry Pink. And then I have another Half Caked um, in ASAP, and I'm not sure that's coming off more red on the video, 
but it's coming off a mauve brown over here. I have another um, LA Colors Velvet Lip Mousse and doesn't tell me the actual shade, but this is kind of like a purpley color. And then I only chose one red lipstick this month, and this is by Folly of Fire, and it is in the shade here to slay. And this is one of my favorite red lipsticks. But um, I still I try to, you know, use the majority of my lipsticks. But okay, so that is everything that I'm going to be using in this month. Um, and I decided to take out the lip glosses and the lip liners. I think I'm going to try to just um, throw them away or move them, package them up and put them in a box to like go to my family because I have a really big family and maybe, I mean, I don't really do much with my family downstate, my mom's nor my dad's family. Um, there are reasons for that, but let's be real. They don't do nothing with me either. So it's not like I feel too bad about it. But what I got to thinking was like, instead of throwing it away or trying to do videos with used makeup, like I can just like donate it to the family that, you know, that's technically my family. Like I'm not trying to sound too horrible, but you know, it is, it is what it is. So I do hope that you enjoyed watching this, um, joy's way of panning and shopping my stash video. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Remember that I do love you. Remain awesome and peace out. Awesome curve. Mm -hmm.